In a previous video, I advised that DJI have released the SDK for this. This is the DJI Mini 2, and also they have released it for the DJI Air 2S and the DJI Mini SE. Now, if you do not know what that exactly means and why you should be excited, the fact that DJI have actually done this, I would encourage you to go watch that video. Once you've watched that video, you'll basically know all about why that this is a big thing. And then please do come back to this one to see the update and if you did watch that update and you are back on this video you will know that inside that video i told you that i had contacted litchi litchi if you don't know are one of the biggest third party app companies that deal with dji drones adding additional support additional features core features such as waypoints active track and generally this piece of software is something to be really excited about okay now in that video i told you that i'd spoken to litchi directly and they advised me that that they were going to look at providing functionality for the drone such as the DJI Mini 2 in the next one to two days. However, today, interestingly, Litchi actually reached out to me um, to let me know that they had actually submitted the app to Google for review and hopefully it should be approved for us to download if you have a beta tester very, very shortly. Now, after that news earlier on today, I have basically been checking every single hour to see if that actually is the case. And honestly, I am super excited. And one little thing to tell you is just at the moment in time, this is Android only. DJI have not yet released the SDK for iOS. However, I would imagine it will come soon, but for the moment, it's only Litchi for Android, which is available. So finally, Android users actually get increased functionality where it's normally iOS. And basically, I want to give you the news as of right now where it shows that it is now supporting the three drones I've already mentioned. So what I'm actually going to do for you guys is given the fact that that now shows that it's compatible with the DJI Mini 2, I'm going to grab my DJI Mini 2 and I'm going to test this live in this video and hopefully if I turn this on it should give me a screen on the Litchi app. Okay, or give me a live video feed. So let's go ahead and see if that's going to work. So I already have my controller and my phone. So I'm just going to quickly start my screen recording so you can see exactly what is going on. There we go, that's all nice and started. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the controller on. Nothing more complicated than what you would do normally. All right, and then what I'm going to do is slide into my, oh, it's opened up DJI Fly app automatically. Let's just close that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is go through my apps until we find Litchi. All right, uh, it should be about there. There we go, Litchi. Let's open that up. Um, and allow access to, allow Litchi to access this. Yes, that is absolutely fine by us. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is turn the drone on, usual way. There we go, Mini 2 is booting up. All right, and it is the DJI Mini 2, just to make sure. You know. All right. And let's just see what happens on the screen then after a couple of seconds. Anything exciting? What's going to happen? There we go. Moment of awkward silence there. And it is working. Yes, we have a video feed. And just to point that out, obviously, that is me recording this video right now. So yes, that is a live video feed. Let's just test some, one of the most basic uh, features of the gimbal wheel. There we go, that's going up and down, as you can see on screen. Really, <laughs> yes, this is absolutely brilliant. Yes, so it looks like that works. And of course, these are all the options on screen you can expect to see, FPV, waypoint, follow, orbit, focus panner and track. Now I will be covering all aspects of Litchi on my channel. So if you are not subscribed already and you want to see exactly all the features you can do with your DJI Mini 2 and this piece of software, then of course hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to make sure that you don't miss any upcoming posts all about this subject. I've also posted a poll on my community page basically asking if you want me to do one long video on Litchi or if you want me to put it into smaller bite-sized 
videos on each subject or each feature uh, just to make it a little bit more digestible. So please do participate in that poll and let me know what you would prefer. And also just to cap this video off, I am pleased to announce that Litchi have actually given me three codes for a free version of their Litchi software to give away to a viewer of this channel. Now, given the fact that I've already explained that this is not yet available for iOS, as DJI have not released the SDK yet for that, then this is of course Android only. But of course, what I will do is I will announce that competition and how you can win in that follow-up video or in that first follow-up Litchi video. So please do make sure you're watching to be able to find out exactly how you enter. But anyway, that wraps it up. And until I can get out flying, uh, because it is, absolutely pitch black here in the UK. Stay safe, fly safe, and of course, please do let me know what you think in the comments section. See you again soon.